State leaders here are considering a repeal of the state tax on groceries and Sand Mountain leaders are weighing in. WFO 48 Savannah South joins us live in Fort Payne. Savannah, local leaders are considering how the possible repeal could actually affect rural communities. Liz, today I spoke with Senator Andrew Jones about the impact of the grocery tax, and he tells me that the removal of this tax could definitely benefit and bring less financial burden to families in rural communities. Alabama is one of the few states that still taxes groceries at the same rate as other items. Some state leaders are now pushing to end the tax to help ease the burden of rising costs for Alabamians. Alabama Senator Andrew Jones says people living in rural counties face significant challenges when buying groceries. It's a challenge for rural Alabamians because they're, they're having to go and make a trip and fill their freezers up and they spend a lot of money at one time purchasing groceries in, in rural areas, your options are often limited. Having that grocery tax uh, taken off, the, at least the state portion taken off for your bill is going to be big. He says Sand Mountain is home to many rural communities that may lack access to groceries. Certainly access to, to food, healthy food, fresh produce uh, is important for the people in that area, uh, but also making it more affordable as part of that equation as well. Another way to help people in rural communities gain access to groceries is to build more stores. Mayor of Fort Payne, Brian Bain, says he's working with a developer to build a brand new food city on the south side of his city in hopes it will grant easier access to groceries. We've had folks that, you know, call the office and say, we normally go to uh, Rome or to Albertville or to Trenton uh, and have to pick up stuff that we can't get in Fort Payne. Uh, so we're glad that we're able to keep that money here in Fort Payne instead of sending it outside of Fort Payne. Now, Mayor Brian Bain says the groundbreaking for the brand new grocery store will be in May and construction will follow immediately after. Reporting live in Fort Payne, Savannah Sapp, 48 on your side.